hello guys good morning to you how are you it's good to see you all present bravissimi thank you so much for coming and you're very welcome to my home dun, 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 my home can you see me can you hear me fatemi sapere qualcuno mi scrive yes e vado avanti um, con stamattina un po' di cose stamattina uh, voglio guardare ancora um, un po' di lavori di spoken, spoken test spoken presentations and then I want to present the new project to you which is revision um, of course of the of the last year yes okay cool thank you guys everybody can hear me everybody is here everybody is well I hope are you well I hope this is okay uh, life is okay for you and I hope that you are safe and sound at home. So today, as I said, I have a few more um, spo spoken uh, presentations to listen to, and then I want to present the new project, okay? So I'll do that later, okay? Hello, Ludovica, I need to salutare la gente. Mamma mia, non vedo più niente senza occhiali. Invecchio, ragazzi, invecchio. Non si può più nascondere. <laughs> Hello, Matilde Poletti. How are you, my friend? I hope you are well. I hope everybody is safe and sound in your home and in your family. Hello, Giulia Masorotti. I got your email and I will listen to the audio now. Hello, Chiara. How are you, my friend? What are you reading these days? Are you reading anything interesting? Sto cercando un nuovo libro. Anyway, are you well? I hope you're well. Hello, Anna. How are you? I got your email as well afterwards on Friday. I will listen today. Hello, Carlotta. Are you well? Everything good? Are you playing violin? How come va il violino? Tutto bene? I, I started to... I have a violin here and I was starting to play. I wanted to learn during this time. A me piace imparare. I love it, learning new things. Uh, sto imparando il russo and, and I, I like to uh, learn things. So I had a violin and I wanted to start playing, but my family said, no, 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 because, you know, anyway. Hello, Daniele Fuzilo, how are you, my friend? Are you well? Tutto bene? I hope, I hope you're well. Hello, Sofia. Tutto bene, Sofia Mogherini. Life is good. Cool. Hello, Ariana. How are you? Are you playing the guitar? I'm sure you're amazing at the guitar by now, giusto? Visto che l'hai suonato un'ora al giorno, tutti i giorni da quando siamo a casa, giusto? Hello Ginevra, all good with you? Hello Emma, non Emma, Olivia, how are you? Hello Alice in Sera, tutto bene? I hope you're well. Hello Matilde Monti, I'm very well, thank you. Hello Elisabetta, all good? I hope everything is good at home. Hello, Martina Briganti. How are you? Hello, Sofia Trunzo. Hello, Francesca Bottone. Hello, Federica. How is everybody? Hello, hello, Denise. Hello to Giulia Moret. Er, sei per prima oggi. Io ti ho dimenticato eh, l'altro giorno e, um, e volevo veramente ascoltare il tuo. Allora, la faccio subito. Hello, Greta. All good? Good. Um, and Alice is present. Hello, Alice. Hello, Deva. How are you, my friend? Everything good? I hope. Hello, Federico. Come stai? Torna il calcio. Allora, due partite, due vittorie, e poi non ne parliamo più. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Mi sentite? Mi sentite? Cool, cool. Anaoa, anche. Ludovica, hello. Hello, Elisa. Ray poi è riuscito a risolvere cosa Francesca risolvere cosa, cosa dovevo risolvere non dirmi, che, non dirmi che ho dimenticato qualcosa But. good ok it's good to hear everybody is well good fine thanks guy was there a problem with the last Oh, yeah, 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 I, I came back, I came back, I don't know why, but my computer died, I can't, oh yeah, I was trying to share the screen, stavo provando di condividere lo schermo, e si è fermato, si è bloccato, yeah. Hey, Lucrezia, how's it going? 
Thank you, Elisabetta. Elisabetta mi dice che Lucrezia c'è. I got your email today. Non ho ancora letto. It's good to hear from you, Lucrezia. I hope you're well. Um, hello, Daniel. Daniel Dalzovo, ti ho visto, ti ho intravisto nel parcheggio della posta uh, l'altro giorno sotto il mio balcone, giusto? Deva, I'm very well, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm starting to do lessons. Sto iniziando a fare le lezioni on tour per il nuovo progetto. Lascio la casa e vado da, non, non nelle case, però sapete, sto, sto lavorando con la primaria, allora andiamo tipo al Lago d'Orta e ci incontriamo con due ragazzi e poi facciamo le lezioni così un po' fuori casa, un po' per prendere il sole, perché guarda questa pella. Sono tutto bianco, sono in mozzare mozzarella dopo due mesi. You instead, I'm good, thank you. Non, non diciamo instead, instead vuol dire... Però, thank you very much, Sofia. I'm very, very well. Prof, ma il progetto che abbiamo fatto è l'ultimo dell'anno. It's interesting. It's an interesting question. Can I, I will explain everything um, um, after we listen to some, um, some more work, okay? Now, if you, um, um, if you uh, want, I'm just going to listen for the next 20 minutes or so. I'm going to listen to the, the, the other work that I've received. If you were here on Friday and you, um, all, and I already tested and I already uh, examined your work, you can make yourself a coffee and come back in 20 minutes. I don't know if you want to do that. Um, but, um, well, we are 31, siamo 31, bravissimi, thank you so much. How is everything with you? Is everything okay? We're coming to the end of the year. I know, siete in seconda, c'è meno, meno pressione che quelli in terza, però, com'è andata? Ed è questo che vole, voglio introdurre per un piccolo, non è un progetto, però un piccolo um, riflessione per chiudere, giusto? Cool, so, now, condivido lo schermo e vi ricordo cosa... Volevo. Um, this is the, the chart that I'm using. Where are we? There we go. So we, we are trying to get to a spoken level of A2. Okay, this is for the end of Scuola Media. And for most of you, I have to say, per la maggioranza di voi, B1 per me è um, l'obiettivo. To, to, ha to have a level of spoken English that you're comfortable speaking and we have um, created a context that you can recognize the context and choose between Italian and English. That's my, that's my um, objective, you know, for you guys. But anyway, um, okay, so vado avanti un attimo, 32, 33, gli anni del Cristo. So, dove sono? Dove l'altro schermo? Benissimo, ho, ho, ho chiuso? No. Sì? No. Ok, so, here we go. Uh, there's Luc Lucrezia's email. I will read that later. Thank you so much. So, I'm going to start with Giulia Mora, che non ho ascoltato l'altro giorno. Um, <coughs> where are you? Where are you? Here we are. Cool. <clears throat> so let's listen to Julia. Let's see what she has to say. Our song is born. Our song, song is doesn't born. come out of nowhere. It starts with the reworking of some messages. Writing a beautiful song is very complex. It is important to believe and be convinced of what you do. There are those who love the writer their own songs and those who love team works as team players. The birth of an artistic work is always surrounded by mystery. There may be some standard elements, but what makes it a success is a mystery. Behind the writing of a song, there is a lot of work many attempts and a lot of dedication. You had to con concentrate everything in a few minutes and see the complete result. From the first notes, to first words, to the arrangement and that makes the song we listen, love 
and of course sing. Good work, Julia. Interesting stuff. I just thought I didn't understand that last sentence. Dedication. You had to con concentrate everything in a few minutes and see the complete result. From the first notes to the first words to the arrangement and that makes the song we listen love and of course sing that makes the song we listen love and of course sing i'm not sure what you mean by that julia but um i love the reflection as you know i've written songs all my life <clears throat> so um so it's something i'm familiar with your english is beautiful your english is beautiful julia that's the important thing I would just now, again, these are just details, you know. You have to remember that in Italian, we overpronounce the letters. Every letter is pronounced like so, um, you know, it, it, we, we pronounce every letter. In English, not so much. So at the end of the word, I've, I've often said it to you guys in, in class that, you know, we don't have to overpronounce the last letter. Non dobbiamo sovrapronunciare o insistere sull'ultima lettera vi trovo sempre sempre a, a, a fare song writing a song you know when i would say writing a song you know but again this is this is this is at, at least a2 level you know and again as you know this is the scale i'm using this is the cambridge english scale in tutta trasparenza vedete this is the scale I use, and it says here, dun, 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 shows sufficient control of simple grammatical forms, that's a three. And number five is show a good degree of control, uses a range of appropriate vocabulary, and is mostly intelligible. Vedete Soto is mostly intelligible. So this is a five in, oops. I'll change the settings of the camera, and sono tutto flu. Flu? No, je suis flou. C'est français, ça. C'est pas de l'italien. C'est du français que je suis en train de parler. <coughs> Ta-da! Macadi. Cool. Um, good work, Julia. So, of course, this is an A in, 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 um, in level, um, in level a, a, A2 of Cambridge, of course it is. So, thank you for that, very much for that. Andiamo avanti. Ho ricevuto un email adesso. Chi mi scrive? Give me scrive inbox. No, okay, no, 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 no. So I will go back to my thing. Who did I not do? So I have done Julia. Who did I not do? I had one from Marco that I haven't listened to yet. But let's go to for now. I want to go to Julia Masarotti che ho ricevuto l'altro giorno. Ecco ti. Let's listen to... Okay, this is a video. I have to download it. Oh, cool. Hi, Ray. Hiya. This is my research of the birth of writing. Writing was the first major technological revolution. According to history, it was invented by the Sumerians in Mesopotamia in 2000 before Christ and in Mesoamerica, Mexico, in 60 before Christ. The, the writing used by this was cuneiform writing, a method used to keep accounts. Also in Egypt, around 3200 before Christ, a new method of writing was devised, the hieroglyphic, where small things that were very complex to learn, and there were tagged to the most important classes. There are so said to have been invented by taking an example from the Sumerian alphabet. In China, instead, instead they invented a system of ideograms that were used by historians to get information of the ancient Chinese dynasties. For example, there is the Shang dynasty that engraved its writing of on bones bronze artifacts and turtle shells. Among the most important scriptures 
were the Greek and Roman scriptures. From the history of the Greek alphabet, it is clear that the Greeks borrowed to phonemic alphabet, adapting it to their language. Those who adapted the phonemic system added three letters at the end of the series, currently the supplementary. Several variants of Greek alphabet soon developed. After the first writing from right to left, the Greeks eventually choose to write from left to right. Unlike the Phoenicians who wrote from right to left, the most widespread descendant of Greeks was the Latin alphabet, named after the Latins, an Italian people who came to dominate Europe was the rise of Rome. The Romans learned to write around the 5th century before Christ from the Etruscan civilization, which used a series of Italic writings derived from the Western Greeks. Due to the cultural domination of the Roman Empire, two other Italic writings disappeared and the Etruscan language was largely lost. Good work, Julia. Interesting stuff. I didn't know that, and um, and you know, you I don't I don't hear any problem with your English. Sometimes you know when you're reading it, you do the Italian thing where you know Greek, Roman, but you know this is something that you can iron out. And the more you use English, mi ripeto sempre dicendo che um. Più lo usi, più facile è. I don't know, you know, lo, 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 sono da due anni che lo, lo dico, però, you know, uh, you're, you're, it's perfect. It's, you know, for, for this level, Julia, you're doing really, really well. So, well done. Who else have I got? The birth of writing, it's really interesting. Let's listen to Anna Leonardi. The, and, the, the candle's origin. Interesting. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Candles have been used as a light source and to illuminate the celebrations for over 5,000 years. While the Egyptians were using wicked candles in 3000 BC, the ancient Romans are generally credited with developing the wicked candles before that time by dipping rolled Related papyrus repeatedly in melted tallow or beeswax. beeswax. The yeah. resulting candles were used to light their homes, to aid the travels at night and in the religious ceremonies. Early Western cultures were mainly based on candles produced from animal fat. A great Just. improvement occurred in the Middle Ages when beeswax candles were introduced in Europe. Introduced. Unlike animal tallow, beeswax burned, burned pure and clean without producing a smoky flame. It also gave off a pleasant sweet smell rather than the acrid bad smell of tallow. Tallow candles were to common use old candle for Europeans and by the 13th cent candle making nice had become a guild craft in England and France. The candle makers went from house to house making candles from the kitchen fats save for that purpose, or made and sold their own candles from small candle shop. Thank you, Anna. That's, it's beautiful. I noticed that as you, the longer you went into it, you seemed to be in a hurry. You sembravi che avevi fretta alla fine. All'inizio, I love that you're taking your time, stai leggendo, and... I, I just want to go back to one thing if I can find it. It also gave off a pleasant sweet smell rather than the acrid bad smell of tallow. Tallow candles 
were to come on use old candle for Europeans. Europeans. And by the 13th cent, candle making had become a guild craft in England and France. Now see what I mean here. <clears throat> you can hear Anna as she speaks. <clears throat> Excuse me. She says, um, you know, she's struggling, not struggling through words, but she's taking her time through words. And then she comes to England and France. Santiana Kedici to England and France. And it sounds beautiful, you know? This is like, listen. Use old candle for Europeans. Europeans. And by the 13th, 13th. cent candle making had become a guild craft in England and France. See what I mean? In England and France sounds beautiful because you know these words and you've said them before. Conosci queste parole e le hai già detti. Allora sembra che scivoli in una cosa molto più naturale. L'idea è di aggiungere parole a questa scivolata, no? Più parole hai che sai e hai già detto, più facile è. Beautiful stuff, Anna. Thank you so much. Um, and candles. The origin of candles. I would never have thought of it. Thank you. What a creative mind you have. Thank you. Um, okay, who else have we got? The birth of writing we've done. Martina, I have done. Yes. Yes. Um, Olivia, have I listened to you? Yes. Chiara Moya, Denise, I have listened to. Ludovica. No. Ascoltiamo Ludovica. E mi ha mandato anche scritto, ok. Rebirth. This two lockdown month of stay at home without school standard time, without the possibility to go out of our quartier, was a very big surprise. I discovered a new... See, this, this Ludovica, scusa se, se ti interrompo. Um, listen to the way you're doing this. Uh, da, 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 mm, ah, at the end of the, at the, end of the, the words, listen. The way to pass the time. time I've up. learned a lot Learn. of little things about the beautiful place where I live. This time was the birth of a new life yeah. where old habits sound real ancient. Occhio che c'è la quando c'è la H ogni tanto come dicevo l'altro giorno quando non c'è aggiungiamo hi no e poi old Habits, c'è la H, allora dovevo pronunciare solo piccole cose. And complicated habits. E il most... Most? What happened? Cosa è successo? That a lot life where old habits sound habits. real ancient and complicated. Complicated habits. Habits. And most every day at 6 p.m. I used to go around the streets near my home with my dad and my neighbor's little friends. Mm -hmm. We discovered that a lot of, a lot of animals live there. What's going on? What's going on? Hmm, problems with connection. I hope can you can you still hear me? Can you still see me, Miss Titi Ancora? I hope yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at this, you did a full presentation. Okay, let's go back to this. My God, well done, Ju well done, Ludo, well done. Rebirth, that a lot of, a lot of animals live there. Ne in, 
n of us thank you. Thank you. Okay. has ever discovered such creatures before. We socialized with two nice donkeys, a funny nice black dog. dog which always stays at the window to say hello, <laughs> a big turkey, some geese, yes, sir. most of all a beautiful white horse. From the beginning our favorite was the horse. His name is Jack, but we didn't know his real name during the first day, so we started to call him Stracciatellos due, due to his white fur that has some black points. And the beginning, we no, used okay, the glance sì, sì, at him. Him. Ascoltato. Adesso riconosco la storia. Scusami, Ludo, ho ascoltato l'altro giorno, però non ho visto la foto. Um, scusami. Um, I think he loves us too because he seems to be happy when we're The same thing, come ti dicevo l'altro giorno. Ogni tanto la pronuncia è un po' fuori perché segui le parole you are following the words come li leggi invece di come li, li, um, li parli ok si sì, è normale lo so lo so dovrei sapere però panico ogni volta um, panico deve, quando, quando si blocca tutto e poi io sto eh, non so no, no, capisci <ride> Ok, andiamo avanti. Scusami, non, non avevo visto che avevo già ascoltato. <gasps> shut up, shut up, shut up. Ok, who am I missing? Let's go back to my tag. To the second, the 2A, May 20. Do, 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 do. Cool. Ariano I listened to. Carlotta I listened to. Lorenzo Sacchi I listened to. Alice and Sarah. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 um. Deva, yes, where's Marco? I'm looking for Marco. Yes, Marco. Excuse me a second, guys, while I look for this. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Marco. Article 12 the, of the Italian Constitution says that the, the flag of the Republic is green, white, red, with three vertical bands of equal size. The Italian flag was born in... Thank you for recording in the other room, Marco. 1796, as a military flag, it was adopted by Napoleon to distinguish Italian soldiers with the Napoleonic army during the Italian campaign. Okay, dopo faccio quelle dell'Ariana. Non, non l'ho già fatto? Forse l'ho fatto dopo, um, dopo le lezioni, però ho già un attimo. The three colors were chosen on the model of French flag. From this come with and red wheel. Green is a reflect. Marco, if you're here, I don't know why you're so shy with your English. Non so perché sei così, non timido, però sei un po' dentro di te con l'inglese. You have beautiful English. And I think you have a real talent towards languages, you know, um, but you seem to speak in yourself when you're trying to um, exp express yourself. To the leaders of the Sforza, the Dukes of Milan, and represented the color of nature or hope. With the defeat of Napoleon in... Sì, prof, non sento, lo so, è Marco che sta... Penso che sta registrando in un'altra stanza. 
but um, but you know you, I don't know I don't know I'll sell the volume I suppose in theory. Eighty forty the tricolor was abolished. However, it remained. The volume is pieno, co vedi? There up, pull there up. Um. In the memory of the Italians and used against the Austrians, it was adopted by the Savoyes, who deserted their shield with cross on the red field. With the Italian unification, 1861, it became the flag of the Kingdom of Italy, following proclamation of the Republic. 1946, the Savoy Shield was later eliminated. The commemoration of three colors is dedicated to the Italian flag, which is held every year on 7 January in Reggio Emilia. Good man, Marco. Interesting stuff. Again, it's the, it's the same thing. When you're reading, you seem to overpronounce the words. You see, si dice sovra pronunciare o so sur pronunciare. Non lo so. The, the last letter of every sentence when you're reading. So it just again, the more you use the words, the more fluid it becomes. You know. So good stuff, Marco. Okay, let's listen to Ariana. Come stai, Ariana? Tutto bene? I hope you're all well, guys. I really do. Um, where are Ariana Medina? The childbirth by when a baby is born. Be careful of this word, I'll show you now. The childbirth. Whoa. When a baby borns, it is always a miracle. For oh, nine yeah. months, the fetus has grown into the mother's uterus, developing and feeding throat the umbilical cord and the placenta until the time to come into the world. Now that's it's you're really good at this, Ariana. You know you are you you know you you've a musical ear, so I'm going to read the sentence and see the difference, okay? When a baby, now first of all, we say when a baby is born. Cool, cool, good to hear, um, um, Ariana. When a baby is born, um, born is a passive verb in English. So we don't say I born, we say I am born. Il verbo che si, si conjuga, we conjugate the verb I am. So I am born, you are born, he is born. Okay, and even in the future, he will be born or he was born. The word stays the same. Okay, so it's a passive verb. Okay, so when a baby is born, it's always a miracle. Now listen to this sentence. For nine months, the fetus has grown into the mother's uterus, developing and feeding through the umbilical cord and the placenta until the time to come into the world. Now let's listen to what you said it. I just hear the difference. The child birth. When a baby borns, it is always a miracle. For nine months, the fetus has grown into the mother's uterus. Uterus. You hear the difference? Into the mother's uterus. You know? We kind of, in English, we kind of fall off the word. Cadiamo della parola invece di rilanciare sull'altro, mi capisci? So, 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 so. Developing and feeding throat the umbilical cord and the placenta until the time to come into the world. This happens world. until the time to come into the world. So with the onset to, of labor, which is like a travel in which the mother helps her son to see the world. There are three phases of labor. The first occurs when the woman starts to feel regular contractions and the cervix of uterus delights until 10 centimeters. In this phase, the mother feels 
a strong cramping in the abdomen and back as well as an achy feeling. The second phase of labor begins when the dilatation of service is completed. The mother can start to push and the baby can move into the board canal. The mother has to push the birth canal. Canal. You put the emphasis on the canal. Canal. Solo and piccolo push. Again, these are words that when we, the more we use them, the more we, we realize um, the, or we, the more we know the, pronu the pronunciation. With the, each contraction, so the fetus can design. Not necessarily, che, non è tutti i giorni che usiamo la, la frase birth canal, però tipo the canals in Venice, no? The grand canal in Venice, or, um, you know, the canals of Bruges, you know, it's canal. Anyway, sorry. Eh, bro, I say, I say, I say, scusa, scusa. The child and the baby can move into the board canal. canal. The mother has to push with each contraction so the fetus can descend further and further down to come out. The baby's head is the force that comes out and after another contraction the rest of the baby's body follow shortly. After the delivery, the uterus continues to contract to push out the placenta. This is the third phase of labor. If there are the problems for vaginal delivery, a baby can be born by a cesarean section. It may be done with a spinal block, where the woman is awake or under general anesthesia. The gynecologist makes an incision throughout the mother's lower abdomen. Incision. Then he opens the uterus with a second incision and the incision. baby is delivered. The incisions are then stitched closed. The bird is an experience that binds the mother to her baby forever. Every time a baby is born, a light comes on that will certainly change the world and I think this is wonderful. Good, nice, nice thought. Every time a baby is born, a light comes on. And I think this is wonderful. I think your English is wonderful, Ariana. Bravissima. Um, again, the same thing. You know what I mean? And I noticed that a few of you are using this, uh, the pronuncia of success, come success. Be careful of, of the chi in English. It's never the ch sound. Ch in English is a ch, you know? So um, I, know, I know it's difficult, like, you know, when we say... I'm going to give you an example here, um, like this is a, a bit of a strange one in that the Pacific Ocean, there are three Chi's here. There are three C's in the in Pacific Ocean and each one has a different sound. Pacific Ocean, you know, and I know. It's difficult to recognize, but it's never ch. Il chi, il chi si pronuncia si. Okay? So Pacific Ocean. I know it's difficult, but again, the only way to get used to this is by using it. The only way to get abituati a usare queste chi è by using them, you know? And, you know, fai l'errore due volte e capito, no? So, non è successo. A su success okay cool now have i anything else to listen to if 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 i haven't listened to yours please write in the comments and i will go and look for it um this is the last day that i will listen to these so please let me know i think i'm good have i listened to this what's the, who did the birth of photograph photography Okay, Alicia, see, see, scusa, 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 scusa. Okay, okay, okay. And oh, ascoltato, Ludovica, yes. Everybody else happy? I love that, Andrea. I love that you did the the the, the story of the sedia. I've been telling the story. It's beautiful. Um, cool. Everybody happy? 
Oh no, I haven't listened to Eliza. Excuse me, the Eiffel Tower. Good morning, Prof. Ray. I'm Eliza. Oh, yes, I did. Today yes, I, did. I will did. tell you okay. about. Did I? About the birth of the Eiffel Tower. Yes. The Eiffel Tower I is. The other day, I don't know if I was on. Um, I don't know if I, if I was live at the time, but I listened to you the other day, Eliza, and uh, of course it's an A as well. Cool. Um. I will put all of the results onto Red Gel for your pleasure and for your reading um, later tonight, okay? But again, as I said, this is my scale that I'm going, that I'm going, that I'm going by. I'm using this scale and as you can see, this is where I want to be. This is a ket level. I think you should be aiming for B1 b2 around there you know i think you know it's just about getting used to it the more opportunity you have of, of using english the easier lucrezia dove è quello di lucrezia non ho ascoltato quello di lucrezia dove perché ho solo qualcosa di, di scritto da te lucrezia se non sbaglio forse ah no no sì Ho questo da te, Lucrezia, dimmi se, um, se non, è, um, non è quello. Aspetta che faccio una ricerca. What? 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 Lucrezia, yes, go. E perché non... Ok, tu Silvia. Ok, Matilde Poletti ti ho ascoltato l'altro giorno. Sì. Ti ho già dato una. Ho, ho ascoltato tutti e due le Matilde um, venerdì. Comunque, non lo so. Forse era già, eri già o forse, forse c'erano problemi venerdì o forse ho ascoltato dopo, non mi ricordo. Um, però Lucrezia da te ho solo un um, il lavoro di rebirth, però in, um, in scritto, in modo scritto. È giusto o non ho, ho c'è problema? Prof, ma lei ha mandato? Sì? Non lo so, non lo so, aspetto. Um. Pe, pe, pe. Allora, guarda, faccio una ricerca su questo email per vedere se ho ricevuto altre cose, però... Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, forse, le, forse the attachment was too big, Lucrezia. Forse l'attachment la, la, era troppo grosso e non è arrivato, non lo so. Il mio l'ha sentito e anche... Sì, vero? Sì. Sì, c'è qualcosa... Oh, oh, the, the attachment, maybe the... Sometimes the audio file, file is too big for email e prende... Non lo so, toglie, toglie l'attachment, non lo so. Comunque... Um, Non lo so. E delle altre che quello eh, non ho ricevuto da Francesca, eh, Federico, Giulio Crocci, eh, Samuele Fracaro. Qualche... Scusatemi, sarò un NC. Cosa posso fare? Se non avete consegnato, non posso mettere, non posso inventare qualcosa. Giusto? Giusto? Now! Now! So, okay, this is a bit difficult for me to explain, but um, but so be it. Um, are we happy with that? Can I move on? Posso andare avanti da, da questo progetto e metterò tutte le lettere, tutte le, um, uh, come si dice, valutazione on Regel later, okay? And then that's finished with rebirth. Thank you so much for your ci scusi. No, non c'è problema. Okay, okay. Elisabetta mi dice che Luc Lucrezia mi dice che entro domani. Aspetta, non c'è problema. Lucrezia, so che 
è un po' un casino questi giorni e mi, mi piace sentire la voglia di, um, di, di mandare, non c'è problema. Now, vado avanti, se c'è qualcosa, se ho dimenticato qualcun altro, se non ho ricevuto qualcun altro, uh, fatemi sapere. Però, ok, so, I didn't want, this last month, I didn't want to do a proper project, but I wanted to do a revision. A revision. So the last one was rebirth. This is revision. Now, revision obviously means you know to revise, to look back on what we have learned during the year. Guardare cosa abbiamo imparato durante l'anno, tutto l'anno, però con un occhio anche di come ci serve, a che cosa ci serve, andando avanti, in your vision for who you want to be, okay? Now, now you are 12, 13 years old, maybe you have a vision for who you would like to be or what you would like to be as a job later, I don't know, but with everything you have learned this year in Matematica, in Spagnolo, in Religione, in Storia, ta 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 ta, Come va nella tua visione, in your vision of who you are and who you want to be? You know what I mean? Um, so this was my idea on this one. Now I wanted to share a phrase with you. Um, a phrase with you. There's a book by um, Jack Kerouac and it's called On the Road. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. And it was written during the 60s when he was like a, um, a hobo, I don't know how you say hobo, a senza tetto, somebody who doesn't have a house, but by choice, he chose not to have a, um, not to have a house, he liked to travel. Um, I don't know if you've seen the film, if you've seen the film um, Into the Wild, about Christopher Can McCandless, he was a follower or he was a student of Jack Kerouac and he went to live in the wild with no money and no um, no anything, no maps, no food. He wanted to live in nature. Um, it's a great movie if you get to see it, but he was following the words of Jack Kerouac who says, the only people for me are the mad ones. The ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time. Okay? And then he continues and he says, The ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, 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 like fabulous yellow Roman candles exploding like spiders across the stars. And what a beautiful thought that is, what a beautiful image, exploding like stars, like spiders across the stars. Now, non dico che le, le non dice che le, le ragni, i ragni esplodono. The fabulous, yeah, a Roman candle is a firework, in fuoco d'artificio, a firework. Baby, you're a firework. Um, You know, so let's look at that sentence again. The only people for me are the mad ones. Le sole persone, no, the only people for me are the mad ones. In questo, in questo caso, nella parola mad si può usare in due sensi, pazzo o arrabbiato, okay? I didn't clean my room and my mother was mad. Non, non stai dicendo che la mamma è pazza, stai dicendo che la mamma era arrabbiato. Scrivi un commento. Sofia ci dice... Ah, oh, stai piangendo, Christi eh, Sofia? No, non piangere. Um, the mad ones. So, in questo caso sta dicendo the only people for me are the pazzi. Pazzi, the ones who are mad to live. Pazzi or crazy to live, you know? Want to want to live want to talk, you know, really crazy um, to talk, crazy to be saved, 
essere salvati. Desirous of everything. Avete la parola in italiano desiroso? Desiris, desir, desirosi? Desirous of everything at the same time. Vogliono vol, tutti, ne, tutto nello stesso, nello stesso momento. No? And then he continues and he says, The ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing. Quelli che non sono mai annoiati. O, o quelli che non dicono una cosa solo per fare rumore, una banalità solo per fare rumore. Commonplace. Common, comune, posto, place. Commonplace è um, di base, no? A commonplace thing. Um, banale proprio, ok? The ones who never yawn. Quelli che non abbai, abbai, no, abbai, you know, when you fight, oh, 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 when you're bored, okay, or say a commonplace thing, but burn, 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 like fabulous yellow Roman candles, like fireworks, exploding like spiders across the stars. Now, I just want to take your, turn your attention to the world, the word, the ones, okay, so we're talking, li uni, si dice? Li uni, the mad ones, like I am a creative one, I am a mad one, I am a calm one, okay? In modo di dire, um, the quelli che, quelli che sono pazzi, quelli che sono um, creativi, quelli che sono um, studiosi, the studious ones, the mad ones, okay? So just to keep an eye on that, I don't think that exists. Can you say, li uni che amano creare? No, li uni sono gli supermercati, non lo so. Um, but it's just a way of saying in English, um, you know, quelli che. Okay, the ones from Gozzano, quelli di Gozzano, the ones from Gozzano. There are the people from Borgo Monero and there are the ones from... Uh, Gozzano, do you understand? So there's just a way in English of saying this, okay? So this is Jack Kerouac, and the book is On the Road. I'll just show you a picture of Jack Kerouac. Yes. Where Where is he? This is him. He was a very, very interesting man, and he chose to live his life on the road. And this is him. Interesting guy, a very interesting man. If you have a chance to read one of his books, especially on the road, this is him. A very interesting person and a very interesting philosopher, Jack Kerouac. Um, Kiara, if you're looking for a book to read, well, it's, it's written in quite um, stream of consciousness kind of um, uh, stream of consciousness. I'm OK with that. He was the godfather of the beat generation, a self-styled crazy hobo mystic. A crazy hobo mystic. Hang on, I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so we're talking about the, during the 1940s when he was on the road um, and he was writing this book and he became quite the prophet. He became a prophet for... Um, um, elbow bump quando, manda, quando mandate i emoto, emo, emojis ecco cosa mi arriva non, um, non vedo veramente tanti sanitizer cool ok ogni tanto mi arriva una faccia che piange però vedo solo questo forse è il software, il software qua che non riconosce tutti i emoji so this is Jack Ker Kerouac again, and I want to talk about him, about vision, because his vision was taken as inspiration for the culture during the 60s. This idea of peace and love, the hippies, a lot of it comes from Jack Kerouac writing, you know. So he's kind of the inspiration. His vision was taken by... The, the the hippie movement and thought yeah yeah we can live free you know and the guy christopher mccandless in the movie into the wild <clears throat> was very much based on jack Car kerouac's writing if you 
have a chance to see it it's such a good movie it's a sad movie but it's very very good i'll just show you i'll get rid of the um it's called i don't know if you've seen has anyone seen this movie I don't know if it's a, what it's called in Italian. It might have a different name. But in English, it's called Into the Wild. And it's the story of a man called Christopher McCandless. Has anyone seen this movie? Yeah, here we go. This guy here. I'll just share this idea. Actually, I'm just going to try to show a clip from the movie if I can. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, ogni tanto se faccio vedere i video che non sono miei, mi um, uh, mi chiude la la, la, uh, la diretta perché giustamente non è uh, la, la opera mia, giusto? So. This, uh, this is just an, an example of a vision. This man, Jack Kerouac's vision, was adopted to form the hippie movement. And what I not, what want to know is, with looking back over the last year, and what you have learned, what you haven't learned, copyright, thank you very much, Daniel, esattamente questo. È giusto, no? The internet, abbiamo, abbiamo, we have access to a lot of information but if i use someone else's work to express my vision then that's a copyright problem you know so it's a just a cozy um you know it's in the internet should be fair for artists i feel um so this guy's vision jack kerouac was taken as as a um as the vision and the basis of the hippie movement you know so as i was saying what you have learned over the last year how does it fit come va con la tua visione della tua vita is my question come 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 va how does it fit in your vision this is what i'd like to know okay now the five words that i always use is confident, responsible, reflective, innovative, and engaged. With the kids in primary, I go confident, responsible, reflective, innovative, and engaged. Okay? So, in Mathematica, are you confident? Are you responsible? Are you reflective? Are you innovative? And are you engaged in geography? Are you confident? In history, are you responsible? In Spanish, are you reflective? In something else, religion, are you innovative? <laughs> no, you can't be innovative in religion. A meno se vuoi creare la tua religione. Um, come un po' come ha fatto Jack Kerouac è una religione di lasciare dietro la società e di vivere sulla strada no? Um, dove, forse vi canto una canzone che, che è ispirata da lui um, per finire now listen guys this is difficult for me to say I'm a bit emotional about this ci siete ancora? Sì, siamo in 30 this will be the last project we do together La direzione mi ha chiesto di concentrarmi sulla primaria, allora l'anno prossimo non lavoro nelle medie. Mi spiace dire che, eh, visto che abbiamo iniziato il viaggio insieme, avrei voluto finirlo, però um, siete, avete una bellissima squadra lì nelle medie. So this is the last project we'll do together, you know, and we need to find a way just to finish the year. It's not really for me, it's not for me, obviously, it's for you. And I wanted to bring it from um, harmony and dissonance all the way to symbiosis in, in eight projects. This year we've done eight projects, which is huge, you know. So I'm really proud of you guys, and I'm really proud of the work that we did together. Some of the work we did together, I think maybe I, I, I could have worked better. Um, 
but this is the this is the truth you know the, the la direzione mi ha chiesto di di concentrarmi su sulla primaria so that's what i'm gonna do you know so uh no no sofia i won't be um i won't be working in the media next year okay uh so you know l'indirizio email sofia certo yeah i'm sad too i'm sad too i would have liked to uh to finish the um the the trip però ci vedremo ci vedremo e solo che l'anno pro già lavoro con la prima e la seconda elementare e l'anno prossimo sarà prima seconda e terza e l'anno dopo so um i i i feel that and the direction feels that my time is better spent in mio tempo è meglio um uh, meglio um sfruttato um nella visto che avete già tutti i prof meravigliosi che avete che avete e, e siete quasi alla fine di questo viaggio nella scuola scuola media so è, è giusto così è giusto così i'm sad too è stato bello sì um, però non ci non non c'è bisogno di piangere e non um, la, uh, sofia mi ha chiesto l'email eccola mi, mi, dopo tre mesi mi chiedi l'email va bene um, so uh yeah yeah it's a bit sad but <clears throat> no i'm very sad i'm very sad about it but it's um you know it's okay so this is the last project we'll do together okay so make me proud make me proud um i don't know how we we how you want to finish this project i don't know non, non voglio darvi un compito non voglio darvi un dovere per, per chiudere la um per chiudere la uh l'anno perché avete abbastanza da fare però solo un riflessione to be reflective about the work you have done this year and what you have learned and what you have to um, do i know there's not c'è bisogno di lacrime ragazzi non è non è ci vedremo non è che che, che spariamo giusto but we'll um uh but you know this is the this is the, the the last one we work together i don't even know if i non so neanche se ho il diritto di dirvelo però ci conosciamo e preferisco um essere trasparente giusto now i'm gonna sing a song um these lyrics are by um are about uh about jack kerouac and i'll just show you the lyrics exact exact è stata una bella avventura che non è ancora finita dai è la vostra avventura non la mia ma abbiamo iniziato un viaggio insieme avrei non lo so avrei voluto soprattutto quest'anno non ho l'impressione di, di non, ho, non ho il sentimento di essere arrivato forse non ho trasma, trasmesso abbastanza forse c'erano altri ostacoli forse è, è anche difficile così questo non lo so non lo so ne parleremo di più ok i'm gonna share these words with you um, if i can and sing this song ok L'avventura non finisce qua, mamma mia. We tune because we care. So, have a capo. So these are the words check this out this is this is based on the writings of um of jack kerouac eh deva lo so ci vedremo non c'è problema um um no non te te okay check it out so trailer for sale or rent rooms to let 50 cents no phone no pool no pets 
I ain't got no cigarettes or but two hours of pushing broom buys an eight by twelve four bedroom mama man of means by no means king of the road third box car midnight train destination banger main old worn out suit and shoe I ain't pay no union dues I smoke old stogies I have found Short but not too big around I'm a man of means by no means King of the road I know every engineer on every train All of the children and all of the names and every hand out in every town And every lock that ain't locked when no one's around I sing trailer for sale or rent Rooms to let 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes of a Two hours of pushing broom Buys an eight by twelve Four bedroom mama Man of means by no means King of the road King of the road Oops Grazie a voi, grazie a me, non c'è bisogno di... Um, de, non, non, è, non è la fine di niente ragazzi, è un passo avanti, anzi, anzi... Um, so listen, vi lascio andare, vi lascio andare a mangiare, ci vedremo... Va bene se diciamo venerdì alle 2, ditemi, fatemi sapere, venerdì alle 2, venerdì alle 2, so che avete lezione la mattina, ditemi voi o oh, se no... Ci vediamo um, martedì prossimo, venerdì alle 2, vi manderò uh, il link e eh, se ci siete, se ci siete, um, se siete disponibili, um, venite e poi continueremo, ok? Ok, per quando il progetto? Um, il 10 giugno, 10 giugno. Maybe yes, alle tre o tedesco. Facciamo... Now, se avete tempo stasera o se, se potete, Into the Wild è il nome del film, The Vision of Jack Kerouac, followed by Christopher McCandless. It's an interesting film. It's an interesting idea. Have a look at the movie if you can. And, um, and we'll talk about it on Friday, ok? Nel, nel frattempo metterò le, um, le, le valutazioni su Regel, ok? Thanks a million, God. Ok, ok, Sofia. Exact, exact. So, Lorenzo, venerdì alle 2, se riesci, se ci siete, ci sarò qua. Se no, potete guardare anche dopo, ok? Queste lezioni, sapete, sono sempre lì eh, per voi su YouTube. Have a nice day, guys. Ok? Passate una bella giornata e poi ci sentiremo o ci vediamo venerdì. Ok? Se avete bisogno, se avete domande o qualche sia, um, sapete dove sono. Ok? Thank you very much, guys. Have a very nice day. And I will talk to you on Friday. Hang on. I'll just look at the comments a second. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. See you Friday. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Carlotta. Bye, bye. Ci vediamo venerdì. Okay. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay well. Peace to your home.